Hi, my name is Rhonda Hunt, and I'm the author of the new AEMT text. I have over 36 years experience in public safety. I've worked as a firefighter, as a paramedic on an ambulance, as well as a flight paramedic. I also have over 24 years in education. I've written textbooks for AAOS for over 20 years, and I'm here to talk about the new fourth edition of AEMT. So what's new? Obviously, COVID-19 is a huge addition to this update. Information on personal safety and PPE is included throughout, as well as care and managements of patients with known or suspected COVID-19. Another new feature in all of the clinical chapters is a box called Assessment Pearls. This feature offers key patient assessment considerations to prompt readers to think through these specific areas. Changes have been made throughout to meet the 2020 AHA guidelines, and statistics have also been updated for each section. The trauma chapters also focus on the X-ABC approach to stress controlling hemorrhage. It's impossible to mention all of the additions, but some of the most popular ones include new material on human trafficking. We have a section on assisting with ALS airway procedures, a skill drill and more information on wound packing. There's a section on the effects of substance abuse and physical abuse during pregnancy. And we've also added four new boxes on recognition and management of stroke along with the new classifications for seizures. The Patients with Special Challenges chapters offers more on home oxygen delivery systems as well as an expanded section on ventricular assist devices with a focus specifically on LVADs. A significant number of changes in the operations sections focus on safety. New materials in this section include individual terrorist and active shooter events, plus an inclusion of COVID-19 in the discussion of viruses as potential biologic agents of terrorism. So why should you choose this specific text? I feel this text is the best resource available for AEMT students. It is more comprehensive than the competition who has removed any content that's considered controversial, including skills such as spinal immobilization. We don't remove content. We discuss the pros and cons and present data to allow users to make an informed decision. Thank you for your interest in our text, and I'm sure it will meet all of your needs.